A Southwest Arkansas community on edge tonight as investigators search for a man impersonating a police officer. As Fox 16, Susan Alcori explains, that man is now accused of pulling at least one teenage over in Hot Spring County. Susan. Yeah, Kevin, it was late at night and there was a flashing blue light on the car, so the sheriff's office tells me the teen didn't even realize something was up until the man came up to her car. And what's more, he may not be the only one impersonating officers with a similar incident happening just a few days before in Texarkana. It's the finishing touch welcoming Spring Lake's next campers. But there are no signs of the close encounter that happened just up Highway 171 from Troy George's camp. It's kind of scary anytime you hear about somebody impersonating a police officer. This Hot Spring County Highway doesn't see a lot of traffic. But late Tuesday night, the sheriff's office says a teen heading towards Lonsdale was pulled over by a man in an unmarked car, claiming to be an officer searching for a suspect. Everybody needs to be careful. She wasn't harmed, but we're still investigating this to try to find out who done it. Another suspicious traffic stop happened in Texarkana, and now police are investigating whether the two incidents are related. Police say this video from a Texarkana, Texas hotel shows a man who followed a woman and said he was an undercover officer. When she asked for ID, he couldn't give any and ultimately drove off. But the sheriff says if you're ever in doubt, call 911. Ask the dispatcher, is there an officer trying to stop me? Tell her where you're located and she can tell you if it's really a policeman behind you. As George gets ready to leave work, it's advice that will be staying in the back of his mind. In today's world, you just never know. Hoping investigators can put a stop to whoever's behind the flashing lights. As the sheriff mentioned, calling 911 is always an option if you're unsure of who's pulling you over. And if it does turn out that it is an officer, that won't be held against you. Back to you. Susan, real quick, uh, the, the woman who actually pulled over and then asked for an ID, boy, was that a smart move on her part. In, in terms of the teenager, was any additional information provided as to a description as well as whether or not this suspected uh, fake cop or law enforcement officer, if you will, used blue lights to pull her over? Yeah, in that case, the, the man did have blue lights on his car, and it, that was believed to be a Dodge Charger, and so police are telling people just to be on the lookout for that. And again, urging anyone, if you're unsure, pull over, go to a well-lit area, or just call 911 and check. Yeah, some really good advice there. All right, Susan, thanks.